Alright guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be working on this little uh, squat little penguin again. Uh, so today what we're going to be doing is uh, focusing on UV mapping now that the modeling is actually done. So what we need to do is uh, UV map this and the easiest way to set up the UV map is by uh, going to the textures tab over on this side. This is where all your, your textures and stuff are going to be. We're just going to make a quick template uh, for um, the penguin. So we're going to click on cl uh, create texture. We're going to add a template and then we're going to hit confirm after we name it. So we need uh, penguin and uh, confirm. And then our background color is going to be transparent and all this should be set to this, uh, the size that you need. Make sure this is set to 16. Click confirm and that's going to automatically lay out uh, your, um, your basically your UV map automatically. So this is going to speed up the process 10 times faster than if you were to do it all by hand. And uh, if you want to export it, uh, you just right click on it and I think you right click on it. No, no, you click on this little button right here and then it's going to save it to your desktop and or wherever you want it to save. I'm going to save it to my desktop and then what we're going to do is just minimize this just a little bit. And we're going to open this with a program like paint.net or GIMP or whatever you're used to. And this is basically our UV map here. So we're going to be changing this just a little bit. Um, some of these things that we're working on right now, we're going to have to kind of make sure that we have the right piece by uh, selecting it. And as you can see, it kind of lights up right here when you select it. So I know this part is the belly. That yellow part's what we're going to be working with there. But uh, we're also going to need kind of keep in mind that um, the other sides as well are um, still showing as well. So for example, we have the, um, I guess it's kind of like a blue side or no, that's blue. So I don't know what color that is, purple maybe, or you have kind of a lighter blue up there. Um, that's red. So this would be black, that's white, green, and blue is the back side. So we have to keep in mind that the colors will be coinciding with the ones on the UV map as well. So down here is going to be just a single white texture. So I'm just going to select uh, white and I'm going to just paint this section right here. So this is going to be our front here. And I'm going to actually go a little bit darker around the edges. So we do something like that. And actually I'm going to make sure that I do it properly. So we're going to, we're going to go like this. Just follow the rim of it. And we're going to do the side top and bottom here as well as the sides. And then we're going to use kind of like a white belly. Now the blue side is the back. This part won't be shown. Uh, because it's connected to the other face, but the front here will be. Now you want to take your time when you're texturing things and stuff like that as well. I'm just going through this fast because um, I don't have a lot of time, but um, you want to save it and if you go back in it should update if you have the program up still. So you can kind of see how it all looks like that automatically. And uh, what I'm going to do for the, the body is just uh, paint that a darker kind of uh, matte black kind of color. So I'm going to open this up a little bit and this would be the body here. I can already tell that. Then we're going to select our paintbrush and zoom in here. And we're going to just uh, do a dark, dark color like that all the way through. So we can actually probably use the paint or paint bucket for this one because we're going to be um, just filling all this in. And we're going to save. 
and as you can see that's kind of what it looks like now uh, it's mostly dark around the edges uh, now for the flippers I want uh, the flippers to be I believe orange so we're gonna create an orange for that uh, we need to actually figure out what parts are those so it's these two right here so we're just gonna minimize that and we're and then we're going to zoom in on this section. We're going to select a little bit less um, power for a selection tool. We're just going to select all these textures here. Select that one. And then we're going to go grab some orange colors. We'll just paint that like that. Now our feet are kind of like a red color or orange color for me and uh, now what we want to do is work on the wings themselves so we need to kind of figure out what sections the uh, wings are so where they are located so this would be the larger piece that's a part of the wing up there and that and that so I have to kind of memorize them just a little bit, but uh, it looks like these two, those uh, two here, that one, and that one. So we're going to have to set all those up. So, and uh, we need this one up here. So I'm just going to do this by hand because it's easy enough. So we want again the uh, dark color that we were using. And we're going to need to paint this one. And we're going to need to paint these. Now, um, the more you get used to how your editor program works, the more detail you can add into the textures. And uh, Paint.net actually has um, quite a bit of plugins that you can use. And I find that it's a little bit easier for people to start learning how to edit textures and stuff like that. I initially started on GIMP, but uh, after they updated it a long time ago, um, it got a little bit harder to use. So I ended up migrating to paint.net uh, just because it was a little bit easier to use and it was very similar to how GIMP used to be. So it's all up. To uh, up to you on how you want to learn uh, to edit your pro uh, your textures and stuff like that but um, I suggest if you're just starting to use paint.net it's free as well so um, it should uh, be a good solution for actually getting your um, textures made for your UV map for your models and stuff so that's kind of what is starting to look like uh, it's looking pretty good um, we still need the black, the back texture, which will be this one right here. That one, uh, the nose needs to be, I figured that would be the nose, so that would be the nose there. And our head block is this one right here. So yellow is our front texture, which actually should be the other way around. I'm almost wondering if I should flip that now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, rotate. If we go to transform, rotate, and then we'll rotate on the green axis. And we're just going to do this a couple times. So that's uh, quite better. So we'll set that up like this. And um, because we want it facing north, it would have been walking backwards if it wasn't facing north okay so now that we got that up uh, we need the head texture the um, nose and the back so let's minimize this again and we need to set this one to black oops so we'll set that to black here and we'll set the uh, threshold up high and then what we want to do is set orange to 
the nose right here. And then finally we can work on our head. Now this is going to be the front texture now. Uh, the back texture was over here. Uh, but that was because I had it up the wrong way. So now we were, we're also going to want to kind of figure out where the nose is on the, the model because of how it's set up. So it's kind of, um, I would say, one pixel above from the bottom. So we can put kind of like uh, eyes, I would say, right about right about here and right about here um, maybe not there maybe a little bit further out so we'll do it a little bit further out and we'll set um, just a simple indicator where our nose is going to be here and then we're going to set our eye texture so we're going to put those right there and then we're going to use a darker black for the eyes and then we're going to select our base um, penguin texture we're just going to fill all this in like that and then we're going to save and then if we minimize that and then open up block bench, as you can see, that's kind of how it's set up now. So it looks pretty good now. I'm pretty happy with it. And we have the pivot points all set up. So it's ready to be exported and imported into um, mCreator, but that's going to be next week's tutorial. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.